friends and viewers a novel written and not words um, the based of this novel a beautiful movie an oscar winner uh, movie was uh, made starring jack nicholson meryl streep and others this was a beautiful based on a novel the novel which i am going to discuss and which we will talk about it today is iron wheat this is written by william kennedy and it is published in 1983 this is a fictional novel so iron wheat is one of the best novel of its time it is published in 1983 iron wheat is the third entry in william kennedy's cycle of historical fiction set in albany new york it garnered critical acclaim and went on to win the pulitzer prize for fiction as well as the national book critics circle award the novel details a few days in the life of francis Fallon, a drifter long estranged from his family, upon his return to Albany in 1938, taking his story as a chance to explore the re repercussion of social and personal upheaval. True to Kennedy's work as a journalist, the re The realist novel recreates a bygone era in the vivid detail. In 1987, Iron Wheat was adopted into a film starring Jack Nicholson as Frances and Meryl Streep as Helen, with both actors earning Academy Award nomination. Citation in this guide correspond with 1983 edition. So the Let us talk about this novel. The main action of Iron Weed is takes a place over two days in the life of its fifty-eight years old protagonist hero, Francis Fallon, a on-time professional baseball player and family man who is now homeless. As the novel opens. Francis and his friend Rudy earn a few dollars by shoveling dirt in the, an in a cemetery in 1938 Albany New York Francis hometown to which he recently returned narrated from an omniscient third person perspective the text reveals Francis grief stricken thought um, as he visit the grave of his son who died as an infant when francis accidentally dropped him uh, 20 years 22 years earlier prompting francis to leave his wife and remaining children his work over francis goes looking for his long time girlfriend helen throughout the novel ghosts from his past haunt him including several men that francis killed accidentally or otherwise the author described these ghosts as a matter of factly as anything else in the text francis regularly converses with them though only he can see them francis finds helen at a mission run soup kitchen after dinner they visit a bar where helen who was a notable singer in her youth performs a few numbers to a great applause before they can check into a hotel for the night someone steals their money leaving francis and helen to settle for separate and far from ideal sleeping conditions The next day Francis takes another job this time as an assistant to a ragman who collects discarded items the ragman's boasting about sexual encounter lead Francis to reflect on his formative relationship with Katrina Dotri a housewife who seduced Francis while he was in his teens as they passed the house where the Francis 
family lives, he pluck up the courage to visit them. They are generally happy to see him, but he decide not to spend the night even as he struggled to come to terms with his guilt. Meanwhile, Helen, who was a tum who has a tumor in her stomach, spends time first at a church, then in a record shop where she listens to samples of classical music. After fainting in the middle of the recording, she rents a hotel room with a hidden stash of money in her room. She looks back on her life with satisfaction before dying a peaceful death. Francis meets up with Rudy and the two go drinking and then visit a hobo jungle with a group of raiders attack. Francis attacks one ra raider, uh, possibly killing him, and Rudy dies after sustaining serious injuries. Francis then finds Helen dead in her hotel room. Francis is about to leave Albany again when another ghost from his past convinces him to go back home to Annie. He does so, hinting that he might choose to stay for a while. With its deeply human character and rich historical setting, Iron Wheat provides a moving portrait of a life on the bottom rungs of American society. Even as he acknowledged the futility of violence committed by character like Francis Kennedy suggests that such character are like everyone else just trying to get up. So this is the story of the Iron Wheat, a tale of a pain and a tale of a misery uh, uh, Francis Fallon had uh, sustained. So the, the theme uh, involved in this novel by in Iron Wheat by William Kennedy is that uh, it is living with guilt. From the beginning, Francis is consumed by an almost paralyzing sense of guilt. Guilt so overpowering that he doesn't even visit the grave where his infant son is buried until more than 20 years have passed. Even then, he originally goes to the cemetery intending only to work. In addition to his guilt over Gerald's death, Francis is haunted by the ghost of man he killed or injured, of which there are several as well as the ghost of those he hurt only indirectly, such as the two civilians who died by police fire in the trolley strike relay. As his ghostly intorage expand, Francis attempts several defensive strategies to rid himself of them. On several occasions, he tries to explain and justifies his action to them, trying to reason his way out of feeling guilty. Unfortunately, this approach typically either angers him or leaves him back where he started, and the ghost themselves never seem satisfied with the answer he gives. They certainly don't go away even after a relatively successful session with the ghost of Rowdy Dick Francis senses that some depths of violence had been settled, but he remained full of uh, awareness, rampant martyrdom surrounded him. So this is the theme um, of the Iron Weed by William Kennedy. Character analyzes there are several characters in this novel francis fallen as iron wheat protagonist 50 years old a vagrant francis fallen faces a variety of internal internal doubts and struggle which drive the central conflict of the plot much of the tension and uncertainty of the novel arise from seemingly contradictory traits that Francis exemplifies. For instance, Francis is generous and friendly to almost everyone and quick to share a sandwich or a funny word in his decidedly working class speech. On the other hand, when threatened or insulted, he typically responds proudly and angrily as his violent past indicates. Meanwhile, Contrabalancing his quick temper is a reflective and thoughtful nature that holds sway in quiet moments. Much of text follows his deep and vivid trains of thought. 
Added to this contradiction is Francis's love of freedom and motion and escape, all of which run counter to his deep seated loyalty and love for his family and for the city of Albany, impetuous and daring in moment of action. Francis also proves to be extremely cautious, avoiding, for instance, the threat of arrest uh, at least any cost. The central action of the story plays out over a more two days, so Francis doesn't drastically change his nature on any of these points by the end of book, though his decision not to keep attacking Little re read at the Dorimotri uh, is a promising sign. So this is the story of the uh, Iron Weight by Jack uh, Can William Kennedy. And I hope this is a very painful story, very beautiful story written by William Kennedy, The Iron Wheat.